Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? What's going on, everyone? Ryan Lodi here, AKA The Machine here in the North Royalton, Cleveland, Ohio office of LC Financial Group. Hope everyone's having an absolutely fantastic day. Starting off their week very strong with a lot of momentum and a lot of unreasonable amounts of massive action. Today, coming to you guys with another insurance tip for insurance agents and agency owners. If you don't know me, I take full responsibility. My name is Ryan Lodi, building a nine-figure insurance agency here at LC Financial Group. We're hiring, we're growing, and we're expanding in all 50 states. So if you're looking to learn more about what partnering with us here at LC Financial Group would look like, DM me, comment below, reach out to any of our, of our partners here at LC Financial Group, or hey, send an email to our careers team that's careers at teamlcfg.com, careers at teamlcfg.com. Commission-based opportunities with a, an opportunity to make more than six figures within your first year. By year two, you're gonna have a six-figure renewal income and also salary-based positions available as well. So if you wanna learn more, DM me, comment below, reach out to any of our partners or reach out to our careers team careers at teamlcfg.com careers at teamlcfg.com so what are we talking about today today we are talking about one of the most expensive mistakes that you can make as an insurance agent and hey even agency owners can make this mistake as well by not properly training and coaching their insurance agents in their organization and hey this doesn't just particularly pertain to insurance agents. However, that's the niche I'm in. That's the industry I'm in. Been in the insurance industry for the past six to seven years. So hey, I'm gonna continue to bring you guys my expertise, my knowledge, and everything that I've learned in this past six to seven years as an insurance agent, and now, hey, as an insurance agency owner. So what is the most expensive mistake? There's a lot of mistakes that you can make and I talk about this all the time, it's not just important to know what to do, but it's also important to know what not to do. Because hey, if you just know what to do, that's gonna create you income, that's gonna create you revenue, but also knowing what not to do, that's going to create you even more income and even more revenue. Because there could be some things that you're doing that you shouldn't be doing, and you don't know that you shouldn't be not doing it. Right, so as we all know, it's not like what you don't know, but it's what you don't know that you don't know, if that makes sense, right? So knowing what you should not do is as important as knowing what you should do. So we're gonna talk about one of the most expensive mistakes that you can make as an insurance agent, and it all revolves around being omnipresent with your clients continually building the relationship with your clients because as we know in the insurance industry and hey specifically with Medicare but this also pertains to life insurance ACA annuities but specifically with Medicare what we're specializing here at LC financial group is like it's a relationship based business as all sales careers is a relationship based business Right, you can, you can certainly sell the client and then just immediately ghost them and immediately not ever contact them again. However, if you wanna build a long lasting business, a business that lasts for five, 10, 15, 20, 30 years, or maybe a business that's even bringing in income and revenue even when you pass and you're leaving this behind to your kids and your grandchildren and your great grandchildren, you need to be focused on building the relationship. You need to be focused on continually strengthening those relationships that you have with your clients. And one of the most expensive mistakes that you are doing as an insurance agent and as an insurance agency owner is, number one, your clients don't know you. They don't even know you. Clients not knowing you. You're, you're getting leads. You're getting the resources, you're marketing, you're putting out 
thousands and thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars towards marketing and resources and creating leads, whether it's for yourself as an independent insurance agent or whether it's for your insurance agents in your insurance organization, you're putting out and pouring out all this money. However, your clients don't know you. And this stems to, hey, building a local a local brand and a and becoming omnipresent within your local market. You know, for, for, for example, it's like, hey, for us here at LC Financial Group, we want to become omnipresent and become so well known in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Because that's that's our where our main you know office is here at LC Financial Group. Where hey, for example, then we're gonna move to Florida, then we're gonna move to California, then we're gonna move to all 50 states in the United States and be and become well known. In, in all these niche markets and all these local markets. So number one mistake that you are making and number one most expensive mistake that you are making as an insurance agent and as an insurance agency owner is that your clients don't know you, right? And then number two is that, hey, your clients, they, they know you, but they're not thinking of you. What does that mean? Is that, that means is that specifically, hey, when it comes time to your clients referring maybe a family member, a friend, a work associate, someone they've met before, and they're looking for insurance and they have insurance needs, they're not thinking about you because they, they're not, they don't know you. You're, you're not on top, on top of their mind as much as you oftenly should be and could be. And you know, this, this reminds me of, you know, a great book that my mentor Grant Cardone wrote, If You're Not First, You're Last. It's continually dominating the marketplace, it's continually dominating the competition, and most importantly, being first in your customer's mind. Being first when it comes time to them referring a family member, a work associate, or a friend over to you, right? And if, they, if they're not thinking about you, and I'm gonna go over how to solve this most importantly, I'm not just gonna share with you the most expensive mistake that insurance agents and agency owners make. I'm also gonna share with you some tips and strategies on how to solve this mistake and this most expensive sales mistake that you could be making in your career. But it, it's, it stems to like, hey, number one, number one most expensive mistake is that the clients don't know you. Number two is that your clients, they, they know you, they bought from you, they've done business with you. However, they're not actively thinking about you. So when it comes time for them making a second sale or them referring someone over to you, they're not doing it because they're not thinking about you, right? I, I had multiple, you know, it's funny, for example, today I had multiple referrals come in today because I'm always top of mind in my client's mind. And it should be the same for you. It should be the exact same situation for you. When your clients have someone that they know needing insurance, whether it's Medicare, life insurance, annuity, you know, maybe under, under 65 health insurance, when they need that help with their insurance, they should be referring it to you. But sometimes that business doesn't get referred to you because your clients aren't actively thinking about you. Now, how are we gonna solve this problem? I'm gonna go over about nine tips and nine strategies that I actively use that a lot of our partners within LC Financial Group are using as well to make sure that their clients have them top of mind at all times. Because hey, you know, the most expensive mistake, as I said, is your clients, they know you, but they aren't actively thinking about you. They are not thinking about you. And that's one of the most expensive mistakes that you can make as an insurance agent. And as an insurance agency owner, you're not teaching and properly coaching your insurance agents in your organization to you know, continually follow up with, with their clients, to continually stay in communication, continue, to continually build that relationship with your clients, right? And it, this also pertains to independent, solo producing insurance agents like I was myself for my first three to four years. So let's dive right into it. We're gonna talk about the ways to solve this most expensive sales mistake that you are making as an insurance agent and agency owner. So we're, we're gonna talk about what is the solution here? Now, what is the solution for you as an insurance agent and agency owner to solve this most expensive sales mistake? We're, we're talking about right now, what we're talking about is making sure that we are top of mind in our client's mind. 
when it comes to them making a second sale, when it comes to them referring someone over that needs help with their insurance, they're actually referring them to you and not just saying, hey, go reach out to the company that I'm currently with, right? Like for example, hey, you, you, have, a, you have some Medicare clients and they're with United Healthcare and they, they have a friend, a family member, a work associate, someone they know that wants to get on United Healthcare as well. If they're not thinking about you, if you're not continually staying in communication, building the relationship, and constantly following up with your client, they're not gonna be thinking about you. And that person that they know that needs help with their Medicare and they wanna get on United Healthcare, they're not gonna refer them over to you. They're gonna refer it to United Healthcare. They're gonna be like, here, just reach out to the customer service number, right? And that's the last thing that we want, right? Because our clients are constantly getting marketed they're constantly getting advertised and hey they're going to continue get, to get mail direct mail in the mail they're going to continue to see facebook ads they're going to continue to get telemarketed and you know worst comes to worst they're going to do business with any of those different type of solicitations that they're getting instead of you and you're losing out i'm telling you you're losing out on thousands and thousands, tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars of missed second sale opportunities, referral opportunities from your existing book of business. I'm, I'm so such an advocate of continually mining your existing book of business, continually strengthening your existing book of business, and most importantly, reactivating that book of business multiple times throughout the year. So number one thing that you're gonna wanna do is that you're gonna to want to use a CRM. I mean, we all know this, we all know that we need to be using a CRM, but sometimes we're not using the CRM. Sometimes we are not properly putting our sold clients into the CRM and putting those follow-up campaigns and follow-up retention strategies into the CRM. Those follow-up text messages, those follow-up voicemails that we can automatically send out using the CRM the customer relationship management tool, right? Here at LC Financial Group, we provide all of our partners with a built out, fully built out, custom built CRM with Go High Level Management. So hey, if you wanna learn more about what partnering with us here at LC Financial Group would look like, we're hiring and we're growing. Number two, number two way of solving this, this problem here, the, the, the most expensive sales mistake that you can make is, hey, clients not knowing you, and clients knowing you, but they're not actively thinking about you. What's the number one, number two way is making personal calls. Hey, may, maybe, maybe you're just calling your clients, you know, whether it's once a month, whether it's once a quarter, maybe it's just once a year, which is better than nothing, right? Something is always better than nothing. Doing a little bit of activity is always better than doing no activity, right? Maybe it's you just making personal calls to your client on a month-to-month -month basis, quarterly basis, semi-annually basis, or, or maybe even just an annual basis, making those personal calls, right? Or maybe, hey, for example, you get an inbound call from your client, which all your clients should be in your contacts, all your clients should be in your phone so you know who's calling and when they're calling and exactly who it is so you can pick up with confidence, like, hey, Betty, what's going on? They're gonna be like, wow, like, crazy, like, how, how'd you know it was me? right and and showing them that they're important and showing them that they're valuable but making those personal calls and then also hey when you have an inbound call or when they leave you a voicemail you're actually getting back with them you're actually getting back with them when they give you a call right instead of just vacating and bypassing that call that they send you so number two personal calls number three hey it's a personal text right and and the cool thing about this is that the CRM can do all this for you. The CRM can do all of this for you. Most of the, the one through nine, I've got nine tips and nine strategies of how to solve the most expensive sales mistake that you're making as an insurance agent, as an agency owner. The CRM can solve almost all of them, right? The CRM can make these calls for you. The CRM can make the text for you. However, you don't ever just wanna rely on technology, I'm telling you. And for all you technology individuals out there that just love to, you know, rationalize all your responsibilities over to technology, don't get me wrong, it's a great idea. However, you do not 
want to vacate and just completely bypass personally calling your clients or personally texting your clients and sending them a personal call or sending them a personal text, right? Because that personal touch, it really means a lot. It really means a lot. Trust me, I, I've, I've been you know personally calling my clients, personally texting my clients, whether it's sending them birthday calls, holiday, whether it's just you know touching base with them. I've been doing it personally for, for the last five, six years. And I'm telling you, it's, it's netted me and, and profit wise, tens of thousands of dollars, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars. So number one, CRM, number two, personal call, number three, personal text. Number four, this is one of my favorite one, personal visit. So this goes back to building what I was talking about earlier to building a local brand and to, you know, really dominating that local market that you're in, whether it's hey, Cleveland, Ohio, Memphis, Tennessee, Tupelo, Mississippi, shout out my guys over there in Tupelo, Mississippi, everyone knows them, you know, Bobby Brock Insurance, Justin Brock, Johnny Brock, Steven Martinez, all the great guys over there said, Justin Stark, shout out you guys, Tupelo, Mississippi, whether it's, hey, maybe it's Wilmington, North Carolina, Innovative Finance Group, who we, LC Finance Group, is partnered and powered by, one of the fastest growing insurance organizations in the insurance industry. Hey, whether it's, you know, Tampa, Florida, Miami, Florida, building that local market and that local omnipresence is very important because when you're getting a lot of local clients, then what you can do, you can make personal visits. And this is something that a lot of insurance agents are not doing nowadays. And if you see a lot of individuals not doing something, this is an opportunity for you to do it. And this is an opportunity for you to dominate, to do what others aren't doing, to do what others aren't willing to do, and going to lengths and levels that others are not going to. So that personal visit, and this is, like I said earlier, this is one of my favorites. One of my favorites is to make that personal visit. There's nothing like getting getting in front of your client. There's nothing like that personal touch and that personal visit you know, getting that personal physical touch in, shaking their hand, giving your client a hug, and seeing them face to face because many people are not doing it. And especially with the senior market, seniors love that. I'm telling you, seniors love that. And this is how I've built such a large, you know, book of business of advocates that continually refer me individuals, continually call me for second sales, third sales, and fourth sales. It's because I'm always making personal visits. It's, it's, and it's funny, you know, because I just got back from Tampa, Florida. I was there for about three to four days and I was actually personally visiting some of my clients that I have there that I accumulated when I was in Tampa, Florida for two years. And I do the same thing when I'm here in Ohio. I'm continually personally visiting my clients because I know that personal visit, man, there's been times where I'm just personally visiting my clients just to touch base, just to say hello. And you guys watching this, you might think like, man, like Ryan, like, don't you have better things to do? But hey, it makes me feel good. It builds my self-esteem to make sure that I'm taking care of my clients and to continue to give back to them and continue to support them. But there's been many times where I'm out there just touching base with my with my clients, personally visiting them without really many much of an intention of just, hey, just making sure everything's going well. And I run into a referral. I run into a second sale. I run into an opportunity just because I'm out and about, just because I'm out in the marketplace. So if you have the opportunity to you know, do this number four you know, strategy to solve the most expensive sales mistake that insurance agents and HC owners are making, which is, hey, clients knowing you but not thinking about you, this is how you're gonna build your clients thinking about you. All these ways that I'm sharing with you are ways that are gonna help you be top of mind in your client's mind when it comes to them making a second sale or having a person that they need to refer over to someone for their insurance needs. That personal visit, I'm telling you, bar none, it's probably my favorite one on top of all, all these lists, is that personal visit, getting in front of the clients, right? Personal visits, number four. Number five, this one's also something that a lot of insurance agents are not doing, and this is a custom quarterly postcard campaign. And this is you, postcard, DM, slash postcard. This is you actually sending out a custom postcard 
to all of your existing clients. I actually just recently did this with my book of business here in, o in Ohio of over 1,400 clients. I sent them a custom DM, direct mail, postcard, and I sent them out a new business card of mine, a business card magnet, and just a little thank you note. Hey, thank you for continuing to do business with me. Thank you for allowing me to continue to service you over these years. Hey, I'm here if you need anything. Call me if you ever have any questions. Thank you, Ryan, your insurance man, boom. Put thousands of those in the mail out to a lot of my existing clients here in the Ohio market just to let them know, hey, I'm thinking about you. I appreciate you. Thank you for doing business with me. Thank you for sticking with me for all of these years, right? So number five, this one's also a very powerful one because a lot of insurance agents, they're not doing this. They're not going the extra mile. They're not continually going above and beyond. And they're only doing mostly what's comfortable to them. And what's comfortable to you is not gonna reap you the results and the outcomes that you want. It's, not, it's certainly not gonna get you the income and the revenue that you desire to get. So number five, custom quarterly direct mail postcard campaign. Do this on a quarterly basis. I guarantee you it's gonna reap you a lot of benefits. Hey, you're gonna have to be creative with these campaigns. And especially when it comes to using the CRM, what are you gonna do? You're gonna send out one automated voicemail drop and one automated text message drop once a year to your clients like what is that going to do i mean as i said earlier it's better than doing nothing however you want to you want to build the relationship with with multiple touches throughout the year with multiple creative touches whether it's hey i do a referral fee whether it's hey i have got a a, a a health tip that i want to send you a health newsletter right a health newsletter that you send out maybe maybe you even send out a custom magazine to your clients once a quarter or semi-annually twice a year, right? But you, you know, you gotta be creative with all these touches. You gotta be creative with your personal calls. You gotta be creative with your personal texts. You gotta be creative with your personal visit and you gotta be creative with these custom quarterly direct mail postcards and campaigns that you're running, right? So creativity is always gonna follow commitment. And the more committed you are to solving this problem, the most expensive mistake that you are making as an insurance agent, the more committed you are, the more creative you're gonna be. You're gonna find creative reasons to reach out to your clients. You're gonna find creative reasons to touch base with your clients. And then number six, number six, the, the holiday campaigns. So you got the holiday campaigns, which hey, ties into the CRM. For me personally, you know, I, I remember doing it my my first year, maybe my second year, third year in the business. I, I called all my personally called all my clients, personally texted all my clients, and at that time, you know, it was like 500, maybe 750 people. But it took me literally a whole day. Whereas like now, all I do with the with the holiday campaigns, I just use the CRM. I just use the CRM, which like that's that's a given. You know, you're not gonna personally call all your clients on the holidays and give them a personal call or a personal text. You gotta use the CRM. So there's times when technology is absolutely needed. However, there's times when you should not use technology or maybe, you know, intertwine some personal calls, personal texts, personal visits, or custom, you know, direct mail postcards. There's times when you need to intertwine other secondary you know, ways of making sure that your clients are top of mind. Because that's what we're talking about right here, folks. We're talking about how to keep your clients, how to keep your customers top of mind in their mind, right? Staying relevant in their mind. So they're thinking about you. So they're constantly in, in sync with you. So, hey, maybe you've got to call them and you're like, man, I, I want to just touch base with all my existing clients. I want to get some second sales. I want to get some referrals. If your clients are not constantly thinking about you, if you're not continually building that relationship, constantly following up, constantly communicating with them, when you're trying to get referrals from them, you're gonna have a tough time because they're like, oh man, here, here, comes, here comes Ryan who calls me once a year or once every two years trying to get some business out of me. That's all they're gonna think of you as, as someone who's just trying to squeeze more business out of them. But when they see that you're generally there for them, you're generally there to service them, and you generally care about them, they're gonna be, hey, 
they're gonna be more than open to sending you referrals, maybe buying from you a second or third or fourth time, right? So holiday campaigns, number seven, how are you gonna keep your clients top of mind? It's by getting referrals. You know, I'm ta- you know, I'm talking about getting referrals. I'm talking about like, hey, you know, the reason we're doing this is so you can get referrals, second sales, and to make sure that you have a strong relationship with your current clients and your book of business. But hey, getting referrals, it, it tells a lot because if, if you have clients that are sending you referrals, what this means is that that client really trusts you. This client really like believes in you and they know that you're gonna take care of them so they're gonna send you to someone else, whether it's a family, a friend, a work associate that they care about because they know that you're gonna take care of that other person. That's, a, that's what you call an advocate. That's what you call an individual that really believes in you and they trust in you. And that's what we should be ultimately focused on with our current clients and with our book of business is building advocates out of our clients. Advocates are individuals that share your name to other individuals. Advocates are individuals that are constantly thinking about you when it comes time to someone they know needing help with their insurance needs so they're gonna refer you to them, right? You wanna be building advocates. You wanna be building long-lasting clients and long-lasting you know, individuals, right? And then number eight, how are you gonna keep your clients top of, not, top of mind? It's just, hey, it's, it's, by writing, it's by writing good business. If, if you're not doing the right thing for your clients, if you're not being ethical, they're, they're not gonna think about you. They're not gonna think about how, how service orientated you are. They're not gonna think about how you went above and beyond. They're not gonna think about how you, you know, provided them such a good solution to the problem that they had. What are they gonna think about if you don't write good business? business they're going to think about how you're a swindler you're a cheater you're 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 a scammer whatever it might be you're 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 unethical that's what they're going to be thinking about you right so just write good business easy as that how are you going to keep your customers thinking of you top of mind one of the ways is by writing good business they're going to be like wow ryan really helped me out wow he he really put me in the best possible position because trust me your clients Once they shopped with you, once they bought with you, they're going to continue to shop. They're going to continue to see offers. They're going to continue to get presented to by other insurance agents. And they're going to see like, wow, Ryan really put me in the best possible position because there's many other options out there other than just the one that you put your client in. So when they're shopping, they're going to see these other options and they're going to see like, oh, wow, like Ryan really did me good. He really actually put me in the in the lowest cost life insurance option with the best company. He really put me with the Medicare, you know, plan that gave me the most benefits, gave me the most money back, X, Y, and Z, the lowest co-payments, the lowest cost on my medications, right? They're going to see that because they're going to continue to shop. And if you don't think your clients are shopping after they bought with you or after they made a decision with you, you need to change your thinking because they're going to continue to get solicited. Like I said earlier, they're going to continue to get things in the mail. They're going to continue to get telemarketed. They're going to continue to see advertisements on the TV, right? And they're going to, they're going to continue to look at different options. But by you writing good business, they won't have any other option than to stick with you, right? And then number nine, number nine, one of my favorite ones, I talked about this earlier, or maybe I didn't, but phew, this, is, this is out of my top, top ones here, out of the nine ways to keep your client thinking about you and keep you top of mind in your client's mind, is the birthday calls. And I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say personal birthday calls. Yes, we can use the CRM, we, can all, we could use the CRM for these birthday calls, however, I'm telling you, there is nothing like making a personal call to your client on their birthday and wishing them a happy birthday. Even if it's at the very least shooting them a text message, hey, 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 Brenda, it's Ryan, your insurance man, just want to reach out, wish you a happy birthday, hope you're having a great day, how's everything going? That personal call though, man, I'm telling you, it goes such a long way. I've called clients year after year after year after year that they're now expecting a birthday call from me. And they know that I'm gonna reach out on the birthday. Oh, Ryan, hey, I pre, you know I, I know you're calling for my birthday again, right? And I've called clients on their birthday where they bought for a second time. 
they purchased for a third time, they referred me to someone on their birthday, right? As you know, these nine, these nine strategies to keep your client thinking about you, it's all just about communication, folks. It's all just about communication and constantly staying in communication, constantly making that effort to reach out to your clients, to make sure that they're being taken care of, to make sure they don't have anything that's going on that they could use your help with, to constantly continue to touch base with your clients. Many insurance agents aren't doing this. I'm telling you, many insurance agents are not doing this. The professionals are doing it, the masters are doing it, the ones that really care about their clients and really want to serve their clients and put their clients before them, they are the ones that are staying in constant communication. It's, it's very easy to sell someone something and just, just leave and ghost and just focus on the next client and not continue to service that current client or those current clients in that book of business that they have. Any salesperson can be a mercenary salesperson and sell a product and just up and up and leave just like that. However, the greats and the masters, the ones that really care, the ones that have a heart, are gonna be the ones that stay in constant communication, continue to service, continue to follow up, and continue to stay, you know, in, in the mode of like touching base and that service oriented attitude. So number nine, number nine is that personal birthday call. I put all my clients in my phone, I put their birthday in their contact, and every single year, their birthday pops up on my calendar. And hey, all I do is take, I take two minutes to call them, wish them a happy birthday. Hey, maybe they don't answer. I leave them a voicemail. I shoot them a text. Eventually they're gonna get back with me. Hey, maybe they don't get back with me. Hey, all I know is that I made the effort to reach out, to show them that I care, to show them that, hey, I'm still here for them. I respect them, I support them, and I continue to love on my clients. All these things that you're doing here, using the CRM, the personal calls, personal text, personal visit, custom quarterly DM postcard campaign, holiday campaigns, referrals, good businesses, personal birthday calls, it's just you showing love to your clients. Showing love and giving love to your clients, supporting your clients, giving back to your clients, and always showing them that you are there for them, always showing them that you are their trusted advisor, you are their trusted expert insurance advisor that they can trust in, that they can continually come to with problems, questions, or concerns, that they can continually refer business to because you're taking care of them like they are family and they know that you will take care of their friend, their family member, or their work associate like they are family as well. Right, you, you wanna make family out of your clients. You wanna have them treating you like they, they are your family, and you wanna be treating your clients like they're family to you because they're putting their, their life in your hands, whether it's life insurance, Medicare, their annuity, you know, they're putting their life in your hands. So you need to treat your clients as valuably as you can, and you gotta treat them as the most important person. Right, the most valuable person, that MVP in your life. Treat all your clients like this, I guarantee you. This is gonna have them constantly thinking about you. This is gonna have yourself top of mind in your client's mind because hey, as I spoke about in the beginning of this, of this insurance tip, the most expensive insurance mistake that you are making as an insurance agent and an agency owner is hey, your client's not knowing you or number two, your client's knowing you but they are not thinking about you. They're not constantly thinking about you. You're gonna lose so much business, and this is how you're gonna solve the problem of your clients not thinking about you. This is how you're gonna solve the problem of losing, potentially losing business. Because if you're watching this, if you've tuned in, I want you to take immediate action on at least half of these steps. If I were to give you the top three steps to take, the top three strategies and tips to take, to keep your clients top of mind, to keep yourself top of mind in your client's mind. Hey, number one, man, this is it's tough. Number one, it's gonna be that personal birthday call. Number two, man, it's gonna be the good business. And then number three, I would say it's that personal visit. If you have the opportunity to make that personal visit, if you have a lot of clients in your local market, it's definitely gonna be that personal visit. If it's not the personal visit, it's gonna be that personal call that personal call. I, I love being like creating that personable relationship with your clients is huge. And they'll, they'll notice it, they'll see it, 
They'll see that you care for them. They'll see that you want to continue to support them and service them throughout the years. And hey, you're going to have these clients for 5, 10, 15, 20 years. And if you're in the Medicare business like I am, like we are here at LC Financial Group, we know that the majority of, of revenue and income and profitability with Medicare, it's not just within that first year. Yeah, you, you, you know, you can create wealth, you can create income, you can create you know, $100,000, $200,000 within that first year. But the majority of the income and revenue with insurance, and insurance in general, comes three years, five years, seven years, 10 years, right? And how are you gonna keep clients on the books for 10 years, 15 years, 20 years? It's by doing these nine strategies to keep them thinking about you, to keep yourself top of mind in your client's mind. So guys, hope this found you well. My name's Ryan Lodi. If you don't know me, take full responsibility. Building a nine-figure insurance agency here at LC Financial Group. We're hiring, we're growing, and we are expanding in all 50 states. So if you wanna learn more about what partnering with us here at LC Financial Group would look like, DM me, comment below. Reach out to any of our partners here at LC Financial Group, or hey, send an email to our careers team. That's careers at teamlcfg.com careers at teamlcfg.com. We are partnered and powered by one of the fastest insurance organizations in the insurance industry, innovative, innovative financial group. And we want to partner with you. We want to help you get your insurance career to the next level. Maybe you're already insurance and you're not getting the results you want. We want to help you. Maybe you're not in insurance. Maybe you're in another sales, you know, niche and you want to learn more about the insurance industry, reach out to me. My name's Ryan Lodi, owner of LC Financial Group.